Well, today we're going to be doing a little, bit, a little bit of Mrs. Dash, Extra Spicy, Southwest, Jalopy, and Mrs. Dash Table Blend. And also, we got some red ground pepper, cayenne pepper, and some chili powder. And over here, we got, we've got a little bit of mustard on a brisket. And it's all seasoned up. And that'll be on the next cook. But right now, we've got everything going on in a heavy-duty situation going on. I'm walking out here back to the smoker, gents. I got a little bit of Coca-Cola. I'm going to grab that because that's empty. And the cans I just drank. I do like my Coca-Cola, but no, not taking the cans right now. And... uh I got the peppers I smoked the other day right here on top of the smoker because I wanted to set them up. Left them in the smoker overnight. I didn't think they were going to hurt them any, but so I got the hamburgers. That's how I season all these hamburgers up. Uh, I think it's about 12 pounds of hamburger in here. I got it all set up, and so I'm going to get her smoking. I got her. Set at 225 right now. I'm just firing, you know. I'm gonna go to the actual. It's 100, so it's still coming up to temp. So I just fired it up. So it's gonna take a little bit, but I figured to let this get a little bit of smoke more on them at a lower temp. Up here, and that keeps the critters from getting on there or birds or whatever. And it's going to be blowing smoke right here from it, back onto it, putting a little heat into it. So that gives it a little bit more smoke flavor, dry it out a little bit more. But anyway, that'll be your take one. Oh, and by the way, we're also using a little bit of this apple juice. Uh, I think I got this at Dollar General the other day. And spray down your racks with uh, just some butter, basically, some vegetable oil butter. Um, that's way it don't stick. Uh, even though you're cooking hamburgers, but when you go from one cook to the next, and then you can clean it right quick, and then throw down uh, the brisket down on there, and continue cooking the rest of the day. I figured the hamburgers would be something the boys can eat when they when they show up um, out here. So anyway, I just thought I'd, this is initial fire up of phase one of the hamburgers. I haven't cooked hamburgers on this thing yet. Cooked burn ends. Uh, you can check out the video. Hit the thumbs up, like button. Um, this will be take one of probably three or four clips. And I'll just show you the process. Sorry about it, I didn't show you the seasoning last night. But it's just simple seasoning. Sprinkle a little on, flip it over, sprinkle a little more on, and just throw the patties down as fast as you can because. You know, I don't want to get, you know, making a long video. But anyway, this is this is clip one. And look how the smoke is it's coming out blue. All blue smoke right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a, this thing's putting out the heat like it's supposed to. I mean, it's not, and I'm not gagging over here like the ash wounds. You know, this is not a Chinese unit. This is American made. I like this, this smoker. It's one of the best ones I've found. Yeah, I'm abusing it, you know. I'm taking it out and testing it in all different directions. And see, this is the 30 odd six. And I'm gonna show you something that most people can't do. Put their leg right up here and sit on the shelf. Okay, well, I can't really sit on it because I got too much stuff in it. But actually, I'm sitting on the shelf. It's not a very comfortable sitting place because I'm kinda got a little slope on the driveway. So they cut the grade so it sloped a little bit more so everything wants to run down the hill and it does have locking casters so and it doesn't move so and I was uh, sitting on it so and then I got an opener if I got a beer or something I can have a swig put a new drip pack tray in there put a new one in the other one I did all the pork and it filled that one up and the chicken so that's all going to the garbage I just cleaned it out and fired it up and got it ready to go again so anyway this is me and old bomb on 
And if you're out there and you want to know something about how Mule Bombman operates, we're running now over here on the 30 odd six. And by the way, vote for Kent Keller as a write in for Iowa Senator. The man served on USS Iowa BB 61. He fought for a great nation on board the ship, and also he's here to help the people because. Joni Erston refused to even help him when he lost his identity and she also didn't show up when a major storm came through here in 2020 for all the farmers and she did nothing for them. National disaster in Iowa and she doesn't show up. And Greenfield, well she wants to take a bulldozer and knock down all the small business and put a Walmart in, a big box store, that doesn't help nobody but sell China goods. And these people here in a small company like uh, Smoking Gun Jerky Incorporated in Lincoln, Nebraska basically built this unit. And you know, I don't know of anyone in Iowa, so otherwise I would have bought an Iowa one. But I looked around for a few years. This is actually a bulletproof unit. I mean, if I don't, if I can cook on it, that's pretty good, guys. I had this here unit. Sorry about it. Let me move the camera around so much. This is a master built pro. Don't buy one of these unless you just want to say you smoke, smoke something, but don't ever use it. Number one is it will catch your food on fire. You'll have flames that'll come about about right to here, about five to six feet out. Because the, the grease fire you have down here in the bottom comes up, hits here, shoots straight out, and then you lose all your hair. Your hair is on fire, your face is on fire, your eyelashes are on fire, and it's not a good situation. And it doesn't matter what you have in there, it will not come out right. That's why I don't recommend these and how many hundreds of dollars of food you throw away will actually pay for a decent smoker that you can cook your food on and not ever have a problem with. So I highly recommend that. There is a few people out there who say they can't afford it, but the initial cost is the, the big item. But the trouble is, in the long run, it's a cheaper way to go. The wood costs you money, the charcoal costs you money, and this thing here over here burns like a stick burner. You know, the initial cost is the hurt, hurting feeling. That thing was two, almost $300. And that was the third one I bought. So that's $900 I spent there. And then there was another grill I bought. was another $300. So that's $1,200. That's half of this price already, guys. Then that's only been a few years apart. So basically, most that's two grand. When I got down, it was two grand. So I spent two grand on garbage, China garbage, and I only had to spend two hundred more dollars to get something that's gonna last me a decade. Um, put the numbers together, this will be a lot better deal, and everything else was burnt, nasty food. It couldn't cook nothing. So that's why I'm going. I'm really, really impressed with this. I mean, guys, I made burn ins. I, I mean, I, I'm not a master chef. I'm just a simple redneck out in the woods. Look, I live in a camper, you know, because the guy stole my identity and destroyed my home and targeted me by crime and corruption, theft, and robbery. I can't plate none of my vehicles because they, I can't plate them because they won't sell me a license plate because of stolen credit cards. And I ain't, buy, I ain't paying somebody else's stolen credit cards or debit cards, Bill, would you? So anyway... Get one of these, at least you can cook at home, and then you don't have to worry about burning your food unless you completely forget about it and fall asleep after having too many beers because the long cook was just a stressful situation. But this will put it down. I'm not running a thermal probe for a hamburger. Uh, it's got a spot in the back here for the thermal probe. It drops in here, and it works real good. Plugs in right here, guys. One little thermal probe plugs in right there. You can get some other ones that just Wi-Fi and plug them in and tell you the meat temperature while you're in the house or something. But for me, I enjoy cooking and doing a little bit of smoking. Uh, I didn't make a big mess on pellets, guys. Uh, I tried to dump them in a bag and the bag folded and I didn't realize it. So a big mess here. But I'm not picking them up. The ground's damp. It's not worth picking them up. 
there I think that was a cheap pick um, I think that was pecan bland that fell on the ground but I'm cooking uh, today I'm using this blend here I am using um, Bear Mountain BBQ Woods 2019 Craft Blend Bold Barbecue Rich and Bold Smoke Flavor uh, Poultry Lamb Pork and Beef I'm trying that today guys I've got these other ones here I've got this here um, pellet uh, gourmet blend but that's more for I think it's going to be for chicken I think I'm going to go for chicken on that or pork or lamb or seafood um, this one here is a fruit this is great for like turkeys stuff like that fruit blend and then here's another one that is it's a hickory it's a oak hickory and cherry flavored and then I got another pecan. These are two pecan bags. So I got plenty of pecan. So I'm trying something different. And this will be for hamburgers. This will be a different test flavor. And then I got some mesquite down there at the bottom. So I got I got all kinds of wood, guys. And the wood's cheap. You know, what, $15 a bag, anywhere from 17 depending where you buy it, guys. And if you find somebody that actually buys it by a case and gives you a little break and they'll mark it up a time, you can you can buy it reasonable. And look what I got out in my yard. I've got some turkeys. The turkeys are hanging out here in the yard. Ain't that wonderful? I got turkeys right here in my yard. I love it when I have turkeys in my yard and I'm smoking out here talking to you on the phone. Uh, in the very far back, if you look them at the by the brush pile, there's some gobble gobbles. Gobble 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 gobble. Gobble 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 gobble. Gobble gobble gobble. Gobble gobble gobble. Gobble gobble gobble. Well, anyway, I got turkeys in the yard, guys, and it's a beautiful sight. You know, I'm in the woods, middle of nowhere, and I have turkeys in my yard. Can you believe it? I actually have turkeys in my yard. Oh, they're sneaking around. They're they're trying to sneak off. Was that a cat? I think it's a turkey. Yeah, it's a turkey. It's a turkey. Anyway, they're having fun. It's, it's, I don't mind them. I like to see turkeys in my yard. This is the second or third day I've had turkeys in my yard. So, I enjoy the hell out of it, guys. I mean, I could shoot one, but then that'd be legal. I gotta get a permit, so I'm not gonna shoot something I don't have a permit for. So, and I'm not really, I already got enough meat and vegetables and stuff like that. So, it's just about principle. Treat nature with nature, with respect. Otherwise, what are you doing? You know, just, I got a blue jay there too on the post. And you know, there's some other birds flying around. I got an eagle flying around here too. I don't see him today yet. He probably went out hunting. But yeah, I enjoy these kind of things, guys. Anyway, I better let you go before I run out of time. Bye.